Virgo, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 6th to the 12th of December 2021. These are general readings only, just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. Um, if you haven't already, go to my channel page and I've uploaded all the monthly readings for December for each sign and I've also uploaded all the yearly readings for 2022 for each sign. So if you want to, go and have a look at those as well. But you get number 67, Wolf Spirit, Turn Knowledge into Wisdom. Love that. Learn from your mistakes, whether they're in a good way or whether they're not in a good way. Um, not those repeat patterns, I always say, says she. But uh, turning that knowledge into wisdom. Brilliant. Mentology, Virgo. That way, you get the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, turn that knowledge into wisdom, but make sure there's still a practical plan in place as well. So let's get into this, Virgo. See what we've got happening. very warm here overall ace of wands could be waiting for an apology here you could be waiting a long time and it may be now saying okay let's just focus on some sort of new chapter here some sort of new beginning leaving that um, where it needs to stay possibly and straight up turning that knowledge into wisdom right there past energies you've got the nine of pentacles nine of swords princess of swords yeah somebody was ready to take action on something here something or someone wanting a successful outcome may have caused a bit of stress and a few sleepless nights here on planning how to get things moving and um, you would like bring it on hurry up let's get things started Present energies though, Prince of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's talking about not being too hasty, not rushing into things, okay? Slowing down, thinking it through carefully. There's been a hell of a painful cycle that you've been through in the core of your reading, but bringing that to its completion, maybe whatever this energy is here, waiting for that apology, no, it may not be happening because you've got that Four of Pentacles as well. Not releasing something or someone here um, still hanging on to something and it may be hanging on to waiting for an apology at the same time though as we said releasing that ten of swords energy done dusted and focusing on this whole brand new start there and then your future energies three of swords princess of cups ace of cups <clears throat> somebody has broken your heart here it may be a third party situation it may be around work it may be around love it may be around home but at the same time princess of cups and ace of cups a new beginning a new chapter when it comes to love someone's offering love to you to help heal a lot of this energy here but at the same time it could be an existing relationship just starting this whole brand new chapter with that ace of cups um, given you've got this Ace of Wands as well, focusing on this whole new beginning here and um, putting a practical plan into place for those dreams there. So I love that part. But Virgo, you may have been through a bit and um, we're just going to focus maybe on this new start, but we will clarify everything here. Starting with the Ace of Wands overall for the week. You know, this new dream, but make sure there's practical plans put into place. Look at that, Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups, Judgment. 
yeah, this new beginning. Put those practical plans into place and get this wheel pushing you forward to good luck, good fortune. May need, mean, again, walking away from some sort of emotional attachment. You may be waiting for that apology that will never come. And it's now keeping an open mind to being able to continue moving forward here with this whole new beginning and keeping that wheel pushing you forward. Nine of Pentacles in the past energies. You've got the Hermit, Queen of Wands, or Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Yeah, could be dealing with another Virgo here. That's your own energy, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. That Nine of Pentacles. It's almost waiting for that final push to the um, successful outcome. The two queens here, confidence and determination, but pretty upfront, brutally honest possibly, very blunt, but pretty much this is how it is. And um, clear cut action happening there. Nine of swords, you get the chariot, eight of swords, ace of wands, overall for the week. So again, it's all around this week possibly, the new beginnings that are possible here. Finding other ways around things, always say legally and morally, but to continue that chariot, that energy being moved forward there at a steady pace and um, releasing some of that stress back there by finding other ways. And the Princess of Swords, bring it on. Look at the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Yeah, and releasing that burden of feeling like you're doing this journey yourself. You're putting all the hard work in and um, seem to be putting it in yourself. And um, it's not paying off as you were hoping to back there. It felt like you're just doing the whole lot and carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. But again, focusing on this new beginning, this new chapter. Had a lot of aces in this reading already. And um, yeah this new beginning putting those practical plans into place but continuing that hard work as well and um, releasing that burden cards are flying for you I'm gonna take those because there's three there but that one then flew out as well I don't do this very often but you got Prince of Swords these actually came out first the Hierophant the Lovers <laughs> Five of Swords, and then off to the side you had the Princess of Wands. Could be dealing with Taurus or Gemini here, but standing up for your own beliefs, following your own heart, possibly when it comes to love. Maybe a bit of peer pressure being put on onto you that you're not able to be with someone, and um, it may be somebody significant, soulmate, twin flame, and it's maybe causing quite a battle here. But you've got very giving energy, very compassionate energy, but at the same time starting to stand up for your own beliefs. As I said, following your own heart and um, pretty much doing it my way. So we come into the Ten of Swords, possibly how you're able to release this painful cycle. Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Emperor, Five of Cups. Could be dealing with an Aries, but again, there's love here. Somebody's confident the two of you do make a good team here. And it may be that loving energy to realise you're going through some sort of emotional loss and grief. Releasing some sort of painful cycle. But um, there is love here around you as well. And getting control back, having that confidence, level-headedness, determination there with the Emperor as well. Brilliant. Four of Pentacles, Virgo. <coughs> You've got two of Pentacles, Temperance, the Tower. Yeah, it's a juggle, it's a roller coaster ride. It's all these ups and downs here, but keeping things moving at a steady pace, trying to release this energy that you're hanging on to, something or someone, um, with the Four of Pentacles. And here it is, the Tower. Okay, releasing that energy and that's not needed and being able to focus on balancing things out again, doing things in moderation, having that solid foundation. Future energies, three of swords. Oh, you got the three of swords again. Princess of cups, three of swords, ten of pentacles. I'm glad that came out there. But again, princess of cups is here as well. So it's definitely some sort of love happening down here, whether it's a child, a pet, somebody significant, 
work colleague, friends, anybody here. But there is love here to heal this broken heart that you've gone through. Um, and again, it may be around love, but it may be around work. Someone may be taking credit for your success. Um, and maybe somebody's buying your home that you want. Um, but either way, coming out with some sort of successful outcome from that, possibly turning that knowledge into wisdom from here on in. But um, there's love on this journey now. <laughs> Princess of Cups here, you get the Star, the Hanged Man, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe somebody's taking their time though around this love offer to make a decision. There's focus here on your dreams and your hopes and your wishes. You may be offering love, they may be offering love to you, but somebody feels like they're waiting around um, in limbo, hanging in limbo, waiting for a decision to be made, given you've got the Knight of Pentacles there as well. And the Ace of Cups, Two of Swords, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, either way, a decision has to be made. You're feeling like you're at this crossroads situation, sitting on the fence as we had that hangman back there as well. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally. There is love here for the taking, whether it's existing relationship, whether it's somebody extremely brand new, but there is a whole new chapter here. Um, there's a whole new chapter in the whole reading with all these aces. I think you've had just about every ace possible come out here. So, um, yeah, there's new beginnings that are happening. <laughs> so let's see what the universe has, Virgo. Princess of Wands, the Tower, Prince of Cups. Yeah, very compassionate, giving energy. There's energy to be released here. And um, and just, you know, some clarity. Bringing some clarity and clearing the clutter out, so to speak. And ready to build a solid foundation. Something from the ground up. Especially with all these aces that you do have um, overall for the week. You've had some aces, new beginnings back here in the past. You've got some down here at um, Future Energies. So there is new beginnings that are happening here. And again, love's on this journey with you. Someone confident that the two of you do work very well together. Maybe um, you've got that click. Things may be clicking into place there. So let's finish with Open to Spirit Oracle. Talking about clicking into place, a key has little value until you put it in a lock and turn it. Click. <laughs> okay, so love that. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Do hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.